Hi everyone, this is Jupiter Jim from jupitergym.com. I'm at my live active blog, Jupiter Jim's Marketing Team. If you find some value in this video and blog post, please leave a comment. That'll really help out my blog. You can also subscribe to my blog. Right over here you have the sign up. You'll get a free dynamite SEO manual. You'll get a blog report free SEO videos and you'll also receive every video and blog post that I create directly into your email inbox. Okay, so here's the demonstration blog we're going to be using for today. It's Jim's Max Excel Marketing Team. Now what I'm going to do in this video tutorial is I'm going to show you the proper way to copy text from an MS Word document and paste it into your WordPress blog post or page. I'm going to show you how to do it into a blog post. The way you paste it into a WordPress blog page is exactly the same way. Okay, I'm going to click on this tab here in my browser. And this brings me to the dashboard of Jim's Max JXL Marketing Team. This is the demonstration blog we were just looking at where I have already logged in. Before I get started, I just want to let you know I'm using WordPress version 3.2.1. And I did not upgrade it for this video because the, me the method I'm teaching you works exactly the same even on the updated version 3.3.1. Okay, so let's go over here to post, go here, create, add new. And we're just going to call this MS Word pasting um, that's it test whatever okay I'm gonna click here on the save draft to save my work and now I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is scroll down to the bottom of my computer screen I'm just gonna click and open up a WordPress MS Word document you can see up there in the upper left hand corner that this is an MS Word document. You can see I've got some formatting at the top uh, right here that is actually bold, italicized, and I've increased the font size. We can see we have bold italics underlined with this first sentence here. And we've got this sentence, we've got a table, we've got uh, down here an ordered list, another paragraph, no big deal. Now I'm gonna copy everything on this page, and to do that, I'm just gonna click anywhere in the page press control key plus the A key, control A, that's to select all. If you're in a Mac, it's command A, and then I'm going to press control C to copy all, and that's command C in a Mac. I'm going to click on the white space to deselect. I'm going to minimize this. Okay, now we're in back in the same blog post. I want to paste it in. What I'm going to do, if I mouse over this icon, you can see right here that it says paste from Word, which is exactly what I'm going to do. So let me just do that and explain why I'm doing that in a minute. So I'm going to press Control V. It says that right up here. Okay. Right there, Control V. So I'm going to click inside. I'm going to deselect that. So I'm going to click here, press Control V. That pastes everything. It pretty much saved the uh, most of the formatting I'm gonna click insert it goes into the blog post you can see that it is all right there I'm gonna click publish so we can see what it looks like in the real world okay I'm gonna go back here I'm gonna hit refresh you can see that's the last blog post now I'm gonna hit refresh and there is the post MS Word pasting test that we just created now the the title right here still preserves the bold and the italics, but it, the font size wasn't as large. Um, we were able to keep here um, in the first sentence the italics, bold, and underline. You got italics, bold here. Uh, we've got the table. We've got the ordered list is preserved. The samples, the font size was not preserved, and you got a paragraph at the bottom. No big deal. Let's go back to the dashboard. I'm going to click in here, press Control A to select all. I'm going to hit backspace to delete. And this time I'm going to paste. Actually, before we do that, let me just go back to this original document. You can see it's close, it's not exactly the same. Uh, but we did preserve a lot of the formatting. Now, if it doesn't preserve all the formatting, you may be wondering, so why did we bother to use this icon here to paste from Word? And the reason we do that is because when you paste it in this manner, 
WordPress strips away all the extraneous code, the hidden code in that Microsoft Word document, and that's going to help speed up your blog. It's going to help prevent any formatting problems in the future. It's going to prevent any extraneous code which could hinder your WordPress blog. So that is the proper method to paste from a WordPress document. Now, maybe sometimes you don't want all the formatting with the highlighting, underlining, bold, italics, tables, whatever. In that case, you're just going to mouse over this. As you can see, it says just says paste as plain text. So I'm going to click on that. Um, you can see the cursor's up there in the upper left. I'm going to press Control Victor. I'm pasting the exact same thing, the exact same text, but you can see that a lot of the formatting has, or almost all of it's been stripped away except for the um, ordered list down here. I'm going to click Insert. I'm going to click Update. We go back to the demonstration blog. There's the post. Okay, with a lot of the formatting, I'm going to hit the refresh button in the browser. Okay, so as we scroll down, the text is all there. So it was it was pasted as plain text. It preserved the ordered list, but that's just about it. We lost the bold and the italics up here. We lost the bold italics underline in the first paragraph, first sentence in this paragraph. So, and the table, as you can see, that's completely stripped away. And there are different reasons why you may or may not want to do that. So that's basically all there is to copying, pasting properly from a Microsoft Word document into your WordPress blog, post, or page. If you like this video, please leave your comments on my WordPress blog. Share with friends, family, and loved one on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter. Take care and have a great day.